I got my coffee. It's a little bit after night. It's almost. It's somewhere around 5 a.m. And I'm up. I convinced my body we've got to do it. So the adventure involves my bike, which is back here. I've packed that in the car. I've got my camera with my long lens, battery, and card all good to go. I got my extra camera just uh, so I can film this and show you guys. And along with uh, my tripod and stuff. I've got a ground cloth, um, which isn't packed up yet because it's a little wet, so I'm hoping it dries on the way there. And uh, get my coffee. What do you think I'm up to? Hmm. You'll see in just a minute. So hey guys, not really sure if I'm supposed to be here this early or if the park's open, but I gotta get out there or I'll, I'll be too late. I wait too long, so gotta go. I don't want to be miserable later. <coughs> I shouldn't have done all those chemicals. I've got everything I need. Um, I've got my bike, coffee, I've got my hat. So I'm pretty light. I don't know if I have what I need. We're just gonna do it. I for did forget my helmet though. But I'm just in a trail. I'm only going about four miles. I should it's not illegal to not wear a helmet. Hi dear. Hi dear. The sun's not up yet, but it's getting there, as you can tell. And it's just now light enough, or getting light enough to get pictures. And so I had to ride out here. Uh, there's really no other way to say it other than I just am, I'm, I'm wanting to photograph one of the amazing wild eagles of our planet. And just draw me. I know there's a nest out here, because I've seen it, and I've seen the bird before. So, we're gonna get her, or him, maybe there's two. I don't know, we're gonna get them, hopefully. Um, on camera. So, that's gonna be really cool. But, I have to be kind of quiet. I dressed the best I could for camouflage. I might have to go get some camouflage to do better. We'll see. Other than the fact that these guys built their nest right above this trail. So they may not be so worried about people, which is my, which is what I'm hoping on. So almost there. I'm gonna set up and bring you along so you can see what I got. So the sun is coming up. It's cool. I'm here along the trail. The trails are here. I'm up on the terrace. So I'm a little bit of height, but the big tree that's way down there. That is a tree that they live in, and I found this, which is probably a bald eagle feather, but it, and um, is illegal to collect. So I will leave it here. I've never been birding before. First time I've utilized a lens like this. The bald eagle nest is over there. That's what I'm going for. I don't know if the bald eagles show up. It did a couple weeks ago on our bike ride. I got out of the nest. But I'm not gonna like hoot and holler at it to get it out of its nest. I just wanna get a picture. And actually I'll probably be getting a few. I've been shooting other birds. Let me go a bit closer. The eagle nest is really the best scene from below. 
down on the trail, but I don't want a below shot. Nobody really wants to see a below shot of a bird. So I'm just gonna wait and see if I can get it flying, because surely it's gonna go, it's gonna take off and fly. I only have about 45 minutes to do so though. And look, there's a red winged black bird on the fence. I'm gonna grab that. out here where I can kind of see the map. They just flew in. Over there into a tree. I can't believe it. I sat here for half an hour probably and I just assumed they were in their nest. But they came flying from back there um, and, uh, and sat in their tree with their heads into the tree so I couldn't really go. I think she got a good shot to their tails. And um, so it's about time I have to go anyway. Uh, but I see him over there. That's on my way out. So let's see if I can grab some more pictures. these trees they were in these trees right above me here um, I really just can't believe I just got them I mean what an awesome pair they didn't even in their nest I'm sitting there waiting for them to get in their nest I wanted to get the best view of the nest and they never even touched their nest they, they came from behind me from this from um, over by the Sun and came over my head flew into their tree and uh, just sat there for a while showing me their tails and then it's like all of a sudden one of them moved to another tree and it was just a great way to see him I could see the whole bird and the other one went right next to him or right near him and so what it's like they were posing for me and that was so cool and then they just I guess they love this wetland here and they're just kind of hanging out they flew across the other side I could see them where they were but it was so far away it was just and I can't go through there so what an awesome morning that's pretty cool to start my day and it's like I thought it was gonna have to you know I was there for about half an hour and I was like oh I'm gonna have to come back tomorrow uh, maybe see if I can find them maybe they'll peep their head out of their nest and they, they weren't in the nest the whole time so what a cool thing. Bald eagles are amazing, man. They're so majestic. And they're so, I mean, all really, all birds of prey are. And um, that's just so cool. You're so blessed to have them here. All right, I gotta, I gotta get to something this morning. So it's a little bit of a race but I couldn't stop shooting them and they finally they flew away so I'm like all right it's time for me to go cool hey thanks for coming along with me on this little adventure hope you enjoyed it it was kind of fun and um, I don't know what's next that's the cool thing about it is adventures just seem to come to me somehow and I never really know what's gonna happen next but uh, man just be open to anything you an idea. I didn't really want to get out of bed this morning, but oh my gosh, 
I'm so glad I did. And I uh, hope I'm always listening to and uh, wanting to just follow my bliss. All right. Thanks. See you guys on the trail.